So when we're looking at AD user accounts in PowerShell, by default it actually doesn't give us a whole lot of information about them. So if I do A, get thread screen here, get AD user, and let me pull up my account, D Dalton, it shows me my distinguished name, whether it's an A enabled, the given name or first name, the username or name, object class, the GUID, the SAM account name, the SID, the surname, and the usable user principal name. But if you've ever worked with PowerShell in the GUI, you know, or not PowerShell, if you've ever worked with Active Directory users on computers in the GUI, you know there's way more information related to these accounts. So how do we find it? We actually use the same commandlet, but by default, the get AD user only pulls this amount of information. To get more information, we have to specify the properties that we want. And we do that, again, with get AD user. And I'm going to pull up my uh, account again. But then we'll specify dash properties. And I'm going to do an asterisk to just pull all of them. And I'm going to filter that through, or pipe that through more. And now you're going to see we have page after page after page of properties. So this is the rest of that information. Now we don't have to do all of it. We can specify specific things that we want. For example, let me do that again. And we'll see a property here. You find them, it's in uh, alphabetical order. So let me find the one right here, password expired. So password expired is, equal, is true, which means I have to change password the next time I log into this account. So what I can do is I can run get ad user and include the properties password expired. And what it'll do is it will add that in to my regular get ad user. So this is with properties password expired. And this is without that option. And you'll see my password expired isn't there. So if you specify, when you specify a property, it still pulls all the default properties. It just adds the additional ones. So now I can do something like this. I can do get ad user and I can specify the accounts that I want. So let me look at J Dalton and I can look for specific properties or I could look for multiple accounts with those specific properties involved. So I could do get ad user filter oops, name like asterisk so give me everybody and then I can add the properties and I can specify the properties that I want to add to it. So let's do the property password expired. And then, yeah, and then I'm going to format that as a table, or FT for short, and I'm just going to want to do the name, and I'll capitalize it so it'll look better, name and password expired. And this will pull up all of my accounts and whether those passwords have been expired or not. Uh, and then if I wanted to, I can also run that through where object and filter things down. So that's just another a way of pulling some of those advanced properties from Active Directory that don't show up by default using the get ad user commandlet.